Hello, my name is Mr. Eric and I'm the Literacy Lab Coordinator here at Girls Incorporated of Orange County. My pronouns are he and him and today in Literacy Lab we are going to be reading the book The Birthday Swap. So, in our story today, The Birthday Swap, we are going to be learning about a family, okay? And this family shares a lot of love throughout the book. That love can help joy to grow. I want you to be looking in this book for joy moments, moments where you think, ooh, this is a joyful moment, all right? So be paying attention. Are you ready? What's this part of the book called? Front cover, good. This part? Back cover, yes. This skinny part right here? The spine, good. This part? Nah, I don't think there's a name for it. The pages, maybe? I don't know. And inside here, we have the title page, all right? And it says, it's written and illustrated by Loretta Lopez. She's a woman, and she wrote this book. How cool is that? And look at her beautiful illustrations. She's definitely practicing her art, all right? Next page has a dedication, who she's dedicating the book to, and it has some great pictures. This book is actually based on a moment in her life. So that's why these pictures are relevant. These are real pictures that she illustrated. Are you ready? Here we go. My name is Lori. I'm the youngest one in my family. I grew up in a town near the border between the United States and Mexico. Half my relatives live in Mexico and half of them live here. This is a picture that my dad took at a party in Mexico, the year I turned six. That was the year of the best party ever. And this is the story of how that birthday happened. It was a Saturday morning in summer, the day before my sister Cookie's birthday. Every year we celebrated Cookie's birthday with a big family reunion and cookout at Tio Daniel's house in Mexico. This year I wanted to get Cookie my own present instead of just adding my name to whatever my parents were giving her. But I couldn't come up with an idea for a gift. When I told my mom, she smiled and said, she doesn't expect you to give her a present, Mija. But I want to, I said, only she's no much older than me. It's hard to find the right thing. Well, think, Dad said. What would you want? Hmm. I thought about it. My birthday wasn't until December. A horse, I shouted. My parents gave each other a look. Too big for the backyard, Dad pointed out. What else? A kitten. My mom shook her head. Cookie's allergic to cats, and so am I. Try again, Dad said hopefully. What would you want more than anything in the world? It hit me. The perfect gift. A puppy! Dad smiled, but Mom looked stern. A puppy is a big responsibility. Cookie's starting her senior year this fall. She won't have time to care for a pet. I can help, I offered. Tell you what, Mom said. Why don't you come with me on my errands? Maybe you'll find something, okay? Mom and I drove over the bridge and across the border. Our first stop was Tia Sabrina's house. I loved visiting Tia Sabrina. She was a baker and her house smelled good like cakes and melted candle wax. Tia Sabrina was finishing up a huge cake. She kissed me and patted my cheek with her soft sugary hands. How are you today, she asked. Not so good, Tia. I don't have a present for Cookie. Oh, don't worry about that, Tia said. Maybe you'll think of something while your mother and I discuss cake business. Mom and Tia went into the kitchen. I wandered around and looked at cake decorations, but I still didn't come up with any great ideas. Our next stop was the Mercado. The market in Mexico was totally different from the supermarket at home. For one thing, the Mercado was always noisy and crowded with shoppers and vendors and musicians. There was even a special section for live animals with chickens and ducks and parakeets and even <coughs> donkeys for sale. My mom headed straight for the fruit and vegetable stands. I saw a huge bin of shiny red tomatoes. Oh, Cookie loves tomatoes, I thought. I picked one up. 
Somehow a tomato just wasn't special enough. What do you think? I asked a kitten at my feet. Meow. It meowed in a tiny little voice. I put the tomato back and walked with my mom to the curio shop, where all the toys and trinkets for tourists were sold. Great things! Ceramic piggy banks, marionettes, maracas, glass animals, and big sombreros with fancy needlework and sequins. I could have wandered around that shop for hours, but I realized after a few minutes that nothing was quite right for Cookie. On our way back to the car, we passed the piñatas. Just a second, Mom said, and then began talking quietly with the piñata maker in Spanish. I walked around and made friends. My favorite was the donkey. Mom, how about this, I asked. I think Cookie's too old for a piñata, don't you think, she said, taking my hand as we walked back to the car. Don't worry, it'll be okay. Do piñatas make you joyful? I love them. The next morning, I was the last one up. Our house was crazy. Everybody was running around getting ready for the big party. Mom had even made me a new dress to wear to church. She fixed my hair with blue satin ribbons. Boy, I sure am going fancy to church, I said. My mother just raised her eyebrows and smiled. <sighs> Grown-ups. Our church was in Mexico, so the whole service was in Spanish. Usually I like to sit quietly and just look around at the paintings and the stained glass. But that day, all I could do was fidget. When I saw my brothers leave early, I wanted to go with them. But Cookie whispered that they had to go pick something up and they'd meet us later. After church, we drove to Tio Daniel's house. When we arrived, something incredible happened. What's fidget mean? Do you know what fidget means? She fidgeted. It means moving around in your seat. Surprise! Happy birthday, Lori! Feliz cumpleaños! Everyone was there. My grandparents, aunts and uncles, all my friends, our neighbors, my cousins from both sides of the border, everyone. But I said, it's not my birthday. Well, it's like this, Cookie explained. Because my birthday is in the summer, I always get a big party. But since your birthday's in the winter when it's too cold, you never get one. So this year, I thought I'd swap you. After all, I'm getting a little old for this. So Cookie smiled. Happy birthday! I was so surprised. I hugged my sister and I ran to join the party. What a day! We swam in Tio Daniel's pool. We played tag and we ate. There was so much food I can't even remember it all. In the center of the table was the beautiful cake I'd seen at Tia Sabrina's the day before with seven candles on it. Six plus one for good luck, of course. When it was time for the piñata, I got another surprise. It was the donkey! Everyone got three tries to hit it. I felt a little bad about that, but Mom said it was okay since all the candy made the donkey's stomach ache. But the best surprise came last. It was a plain box with a bow on it. Dad said, this is from all of us. Guess what's inside? It was something I'd wished for more than anything in the world. What do you think it was? Hmm? A puppy! Oh, I love puppies. I picked her up. She wiggled and licked my face. Her name is Spicy, I said, and everyone clapped. I played with Spicy and had some more cake and ice cream. The sun started to set. A mariachi band arrived and soon everyone was dancing. After a while, all the kids got tired and started to fall asleep on the grass. I tried to stay awake, but I guess I fell asleep too. Cookie said the party got really loud. I didn't wake up though. Mom said that when it was all over, Dad carried me to the car, and the next thing I knew, I was home in bed. So that's what happened. 
My sister swapped my birthday for hers. And I think it's one of the nicest things anybody could ever do. Good night. How'd you like that? Did you feel some joy in that story? There was joy all the way through. And lots of times it was mixed with love. When we feel loved and when we feel safe and cared about, joy naturally just starts bubbling up inside of us. So make sure you're loving the people around you. Do special things for them. And guess what? They're going to do the same thing back to you and you're going to feel all that joy. I hope you're doing a great job at school, at home, and I hope you're having fun. Until we talk next time, don't forget, you're strong, smart, and bold. Bye.